Kyrie Irving has become one of the NBA's most polarizing stars over the last few years, often getting suspended by his own team and the NBA for his personal beliefs. Everyone loves to criticize him not being on the court, but what's Kyrie's life actually like when he's not between the lines? This is Kyrie Irving's crazy lifestyle. Many NBA stars we've covered on the channel have had rough upbringings and huge challenges in their past, and those challenges were always a big factor toward their success. Because challenges makes these stars strong, like LeBron, KD, Dwayne Wade, Jimmy Butler, and others. But Kyrie had a very different upbringing. This dude really embodied the phrase, ball is life. I mean, just look at his family. Kyrie's basketball pedigree is insane. His father, Jaderic, played college basketball at Boston University alongside Sean T. And Kyrie Irving's godfather is none other than Rod Strickland, former NBA point guard who was considered one of the best in the game in his prime and was known for his elite finishing ability around the rim against bigger players. Sound familiar? And of course, there's so many young people who don't make good on opportunities like this when their parents have already laid the path for them. But we have to say that having such a basketball family was an advantage for Kai. Kyrie was born with a basketball in his hand. At just 13 months old, he was able to control the basketball and actually dribble. And at age four, he was able to regularly make a basket on a regulation height hoop. And by age six, he had had the ability to seamlessly sink a left-handed layup. Dang, Kyrie, I still can't make lefty lays sometimes, bro. Come on. So it's funny when people question Kyrie's love for the game. It's literally all this man knows. He's been hooping since he was one. Anyways, Kyrie blended the perfect genetics and pedigree with insane work ethic and hard work. And here's the result. Number one overall pick, Rookie of the Year, 7-time All-Star, 3-time All-NBA, and an NBA Championship with the Cavs, and some even say he's the most skilled player of all time. But we all know how nice Kai is on the hardwood already, at least most of us. We're here to talk about Kyrie's crazy lifestyle, so let's jump into it. So my man Kyrie is already a member of the Nine Figure Club, with a net worth of just a shade over $100 million. Being one of the most talented players to ever lace them up, Irving is one of the highest paid players in the league. Kyrie's most recent contract is a four-year, $136 million deal with the Nets. The Brooklyn Nets star will earn $36.5 million for this season, and that means Uncle Drew can earn approximately $700k a week. But unlike a lot of stars in the league, money isn't everything to Kyrie. You can get mad at me and say, ah man, come on, money's the most important thing to everyone, makes the world go round, bruh. Alright then, watch someone sacrifice $100 million and then tell me money's the most important thing to everyone. That's right, Kyrie gave up 100 M. Due to the mandate in New York City and Kyrie's refusal to compromise his beliefs on body autonomy, Irving was punished by being forced to sit all home games until March last year and a few road games as well where state laws were changed. Of course, this decision also had a cost beyond just missing time on the court. According to Kyrie, the Nets offered him an extension prior to the 2021-2022 season that was contingent upon him complying with the mandate. So he had to deal with the real life circumstance of losing his job for this decision. That takes guts from Kyrie, man. Not a lot of people would give up 100 million for anything, let alone a policy that very few people in the whole league were choosing to go against. But it doesn't just stop there. Kyrie used to be one of the NBA's biggest earners when it came to endorsements. One of Irving's major sponsorship contracts was a shoe deal with Nike which was making him over $11 million per year just in sales royalties from his popular shoe line and sportswear brand. Irving's Nike shoe is always one of the NBA's top sellers. Only LeBron James outsold him in 2017-2018. But everything changed when Kyrie's opinions got him in trouble again, this time the world rushing to cancel him over a retweet of a movie, without a single word of his own even being added. Most of the basketball and media world swiftly condemned Kyrie for retweeting this movie as they alleged that it contains anti-Semitic material. And with his contract with Nike having already not been extended since October 1st over the whole body autonomy is a right but not really issue, Nike took things a step further with this new controversy and announced they were cutting ties with Irving completely and stopping production of his new Kyrie 8. So between the $100 million Nets contract he lost and all the endorsement deals that Kyrie's had terminated recently, Kyrie's opinions and choices over the last few years have reportedly cost him over $300 million 
million dollars. But Kyrie's still good, man, because he has deals with Pepsi, Skull Candy, 2K Sports, and other brands. These companies have yet to speak on if they'll end their deal with Kyrie or not. But for now, they earn him a cool $18 million per year. So even with all that money left on the table, my man is still bringing in some serious cash. So let's take a look at how he spends it. Let's start with real estate. Hey, Grant Cardone, you gotta check this dude's mansions, man. Now we're gonna start with a city that will never be forgotten to Kyrie, Ohio. Kyrie's Ohio mansion has four bedrooms and six bathrooms with over 5,000 square feet of space. Furthermore, the house has a very nice luxury interior that was recently updated. This house was formerly owned by NBA player Daniel Booby Gibson. There's a ton of space at this home, and Kyrie probably had enough room for him, his family, and friends to stay over if needed. The backyard is huge and has tons of space for a pool or hot tub in the future. However, Kyrie's selling his house in Cleveland for $1.69 million, for obvious reasons. Unless you're LeBron or you're playing for the Cavs, what NBA player would want to live in Cleveland? man let's be real but of course one mansion is not enough Kyrie also purchased a 3.7 million dollar mansion in LA during the last offseason this sparked a firestorm of rumors that Kyrie was planning on leaving the Nets to reunite with LeBron in LA but he opted into his last year with Brooklyn at the last minute so maybe that was a pre-planned move for when his contract ends although there isn't much info on the internet about this house judging by Kyrie's taste in his Ohio mansion it's clear he has a crazy house in LA as well but for someone as opinionated and outspoken as Kyrie, you need some loud whips to match your personality. So let's check out Kyrie's cars. My man's fast on the court, but he loves speed off the court as well. I did not mean it like that. Irving owns two Lambos. One is an Aventador and the other is an Aventador SV Roadster. Come on, man. One Lambo's enough, bro. You could get a Ferrari or a McLaren or something else. Wait a minute. Who said he didn't? In addition to the Lambos, this man also owns a sexy red Ferrari. And on top of that, we've yet to mention the most elite, high performance, high cost, luxury car that Kyrie has in his entire collection. Drum roll, please. The best car, the fastest car, and the most elite car in his collection is a 2012 Kia Sorento. <laughs> This car was rewarded to Irving as a gift when he won Rookie of the Year in 2012, and I'm pretty confident Kyrie has not driven this car even once. <laughs> In the meantime, let's call Adam Silver here, man. Come on, we can get a better sponsor for the NBA than Kia. For example, man, let's make the great place it takes an NBA sponsor. Wouldn't that be great? But if you don't subscribe to the channel, how are we going to be a sponsor? If we keep going at this rate, we could probably be a sponsor by LeBron's second grandchild. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> let's get back to the lifestyle. Let's take a look at Kyrie's charity. If one thing's for certain, it's that Kyrie is aware of the inequalities and injustices in the world, even though he comes from a well-off family. So he's doing his best to help out. Irving owns a charity foundation under his name, Kyrie Irving Foundation, of course. In 2020 alone, he donated over 2 million. Apart from that, Irving contributed to donations for coronavirus relief. In March 2021, he announced a donation of 320 3,000 to Feeding America, and later that same year, he made several contributions in the USA as well as to Pakistan. Kyrie also apparently bought an entire house for George Floyd's family, according to Steven Jackson. You're such a good dude, my bro. But when it comes to his love life, we can call Kyrie a flirt. At the moment, Kyrie Irving's single. He has, however, had a lengthy history of relationships. To name a few, the NBA player has had relationships with Gabrielle Lexa. Kilani Parrish, Chantel Jeffries, Natalia Garaboto, Callie Rivers, Ashley Bishop, and Andrea Wilson. Man, that's wild. How many players dated Callie Rivers, bro? And in addition to that, in 2013, he had a daughter with Texas beauty queen Andrea Wilson. This man Kyrie gets around, or should I say, gets a flat. Get it? Get it? <laughs> During his early childhood life, Kyrie's mother died of illness. Because of the absence of his mother, his aunt played a major role as the mother when he grew up. So in memory of his late mom, Elizabeth Irving, he named his daughter Azure Elizabeth. And that's all for now, guys. That's Kyrie Irving's updated lifestyle. Yeah, he's a little bit of a private guy, so tough to find too much on him, but hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.